Yo, 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 you know what time it is, it's the end of the year, so I figured I'd put together a list of some of my favorite sneakers from 2020, and there are a lot of things that I liked quite a bit, but there was one brand in particular that surprised me a little bit, and that brand was Adidas. So with that said, let's jump right into it, no need to delay. These are my top 10 kicks from Adidas in 2020. Number 10, the Marvel Adidas Superstar Miles Morales. To celebrate the PlayStation 5 launch game, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Adidas dropped a red and black pair of Adidas Superstars that Miles wears throughout the game. Okay, not to sound nitpicky here, but did Miles design those shoes? Did the Adidas company from the Spider-Verse make them without Spider-Man's permission? I'm curious there. How come we don't see non-playable hypebeasts wearing them actually in the city? I just have so many questions about sneaker brands in the Marvel Universe. Anyways, this pair actually caused a bit of a minor controversy when some sneakerheads were upset that Miles wasn't wearing Jordans as if A, video game Miles and Spider-Verse Miles are the same, and B, Miles has time to care about sneaker allegiances when he's busy being a young genius superhero who has more powers than his OG Peter Parker. I mean, Dude, it's not that serious. Let Miles live and hang out with the Bodega Cat who's also named Spider-Man while rocking red and black Adidas superstars. It's not that hard. Number nine, Sean Wortherspoon, Adidas Superstar. Sean Wortherspoon is a curious name in the culture at the moment. After a very, very successful collaboration with Nike that is still among the most popular kicks by the swoosh years after it came out, he followed up with a pseudo sequel with ASICS that just kind of came and went. But now Sean's with Adidas and he's got a new line called Super Earth that is an amalgamation of his fondness for vintage apparel and vegan lifestyle. The first product out of that was this superstar that, well, just came out. It's a super unique take on the Superstar with stitched on flower graphics that flow out for a tassel-like look. It's maybe the most personal pair that Sean has produced since he had his name and brand attached to it, but it doesn't seem like it's popping off in the same way that his Nike or even his Adidas collabs did. So this is a question that I always pose when names and brands in the culture that move from one sneaker company to another. Is it them or is it the brand that actually carries the shoe? Number eight, Adidas Harden, volume four, question. Now, it may seem weird now in light of the news that Adidas is looking to sell Reebok, but I feel like the three stripes really dropped the ball for not integrating the rich history between their former rivals into more collaborations. Like, James Harden should have been working with Allen Iverson as far back as the Harden volume one, considering they were all under the same umbrella. It made sense to me. But it's better late than never with this Harden volume four question that is modeled after Iverson's iconic question mid. From the red token caps to the subtle nods to the answer. It's a fine homage to a true legend in the game of basketball and someone who was honestly very influential in the culture. We also saw the Reebok question borrow some hardened vibes just for a handful of kicks. I just wish there was more coming down the pipeline. Number seven, Adidas Yeezy Quantum Barium. Psst. Wanna hear something crazy? The Barium Yeezy Quantum is reselling for below Retail. Imagine that. The dream that Kanye has been promising for years now is actually finally happening in 2020. You might not always get the Yeezy you want specifically, but if you want a pair of Yeezys and you're too hung up on colorways, you can own a pair of the first Yeezy basketball shoe in its best colorway for below retail. And I don't just mean online on eBay. I'm talking about the reseller shop at your local mall if it's actually open. Or that Facebook group that you're in that thought they were gonna eat well buying up all of the pairs to flip. Look, it's fine. Finally happening, and I couldn't be happier for those who are still down to support Ye after, well, this 10 year odyssey. I like to call it 2020. Oh, and they are decent basketball shoes if you're wondering. I'm very curious to see what he will have to follow up in 2021. Hopefully, it won't just be more colorways. Number six, SNS and Adidas Ultra 4D Green Tea Time. You know what? I don't blame Adidas anymore for trying to recreate the magic of the Ultra Boost 1.0. That was such an amazing time in sneaker culture when the conversation shifted from Jordan Retros to arguably one of the most comfortable and stylish kicks ever made. It was a moment and Adidas kept chasing that dragon with collabs, special edition college colorways, and even trying new things like mixing up the Ultra Boost silhouette with their 4D cushioning. And in another effort to recapture what they once had, they tapped SNS once more to make a sequel to their iconic Tea Time Ultra Boost. The light green tea motif all throughout the shoe and the 4D is kind of perfect with hits of black to give it some extra contrast. Number five, Ivy Park Adidas Ultra Boost. Look, it's a simple math formula. Team up with Beyonce, profit. The queen and her super loyal fans are always down for a big product launch that bears her name. And they were definitely out in full force 
for her debut collection, picking up every sneaker and piece of apparel earlier this year. Hell, even making jokes about how some of them look like something employees at Popeyes wear could not stop the moment of Ivy Park and Adidas. We would actually get a few more drops to close out the year, but I have to save a spot on this list for the Ultra Boost because of course I would pick the Ultra Boost and I don't want to insult the Beehive by leaving them out of the top 10. Number four, Pharrell and Adidas NMD Hue, Core Black. Honestly, you can be forgiven for not having thought about the NMD for a while now. Like the Ultra Boost, the NMD was a mega hit for Adidas out of the game, but over time, it's become watered down with multiple iterations and colorways that didn't really capture our imagination. Sure, the Pharrell Human Race collabs brought some hype and life to the NMD, but it was really hit or miss if we're gonna be totally honest. This murdered out NMD though? Yeah, we're gonna file it in the hit category. Sporting an all black upper, black boost sole, and black caging, it's the NMD we all Always wanted. Complete with the contrasting white laces and the Chinese characters on the upper, it's hopefully the start of a revival for the NMD. Number three, Adidas Dame 6, Stone Cold. So Damian Lillard, he has made no bones about his wrestling fandom. Like most ballers his age, he grew up in the Attitude Era of the WWE and he was engrossed by the larger than life characters, including the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, Dame even dressed up like Stone Cold for Halloween a few years ago. And in a nice touch, even even had the smoking skull belt. It's the details that matters. That's some deep cut fandom right there for the true fans. He even held the belt like Austin used to, which again speaks to Dame's fandom. The Dame 6 Stone Cold was made to pay homage to a very specific era of Stone Cold's rise to fame with the black snake printed on the upper and the blue and gold that is a nod to the blue WWE championship that Austin held for only a very, very short amount of time. Lillard has since moved on to the Dame 7, which itself has another wrestling tribute in the form of homage to Ric Flair. But we have to give the number three spot to the one who won had DTA and BMF on his vest. Wait, I know DTA means don't trust anybody, but what does BMF mean? Bad mo oh. Number two, Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 Zion. Okay, look. Let's keep this simple, it's shades of gray, that's it. I like shades of gray in my movies, in my books, and in my video games, and I especially like it in my sneakers. And this year, the Yeezy Boost 350 that best exemplifies that is the Zion. Okay, it's a lie, it's more of a mocha upon closer inspection, but hey, I like mocha too. See, see where I placed the Air Jordan 5 dark mocha in our Jordan countdown, check that out. You know, Part of me really loves being a troll with these and claiming that this was an attempt by Yeezy to sign Zion Williamson, but it's not. It's yet another pair in what is now a very large 350s collection. I've honestly lost count at this stage, and thankfully this nickname is one that I could actually easily pronounce. And number one, the Prada Adidas Superstar. It's the year of the high-end, high price collaboration between sneaker brands and fashion houses. For Jordan brand, it was the partnership with Dior, but the Three Stripes took a slightly different route, teaming up with Prada to produce a superstar that can only be described as opulent. Released in three different colorways, each of them are a cut above the superstars that we see at the mall, you know, when we could actually go to malls. Now, Jacques, you might be thinking, why would I buy a pair of superstars for $500 when I can just order a pair right now on adidas.com for $80? Well, first of all, you don't have to buy these. I can't buy them right now because they actually go for more at resale. But what I want to do is highlight that while yes, the price tag is definitely exorbitant, the craftsmanship and the care that the product team took to replicate and upgrade the superstar is one that they did not take lightly. The process was every bit as intricate and considered as their own homemade sneakers and that type of integrity and passion deserves to be priced at that level. All right, those are my top 10 sneakers for Adidas. As always, I wanna know what you guys think. Was I wrong for this top 10? Are there sneakers that should have been in the top 10? Or are there shoes on this list that should not have been on my top 10 at all? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you. Hope you guys have an amazing 2021. This is my top 10 list for Adidas for 2020. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.